Peace, and welcome to our Top 10 Themes by Koji Kondo. Today, we'll feature a whole lot of Nintendo music. It's what he does. We will limit it to one per franchise unless the theme appears in multiple games. Then we will make an exception. With no further delay, here's our favorite Koji Kondo themes. Number 10 comes from Punch-Out, the title screen theme. Originally in the Punch-Out! arcade game that was released in 1984, and it was also featured in the more popular NES game that was released in 1987. Followers of our Oddly Familiar series will recognize this one. This is, in essence, a cover of Look Sharp, Be Sharp from Gillette Razors. A song basically about shaving your face. For a more in-depth look, check out Oddly Familiar episode 13. If it wasn't for that, it would be higher on our list. Not many kids were playing this game in the 80s and thinking about Gillette. So for that reason, it did earn its way onto the list even if just barely. Number 9 from The Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword, The Prologue. Our next up is the only theme in the game that Koji Kondo composed, and what a theme it is. This 2011 game is not the most popular in the series. It's the 13th best-selling Zelda game out of 23 total. This may not be your typical Koji Kondo theme, but it does fit his style. If you are hired to do only one theme for a game, you might as well make it the best possible. And I think he accomplished that. At times, the theme gives me the feeling of something by John Williams. I could hear this in Star Wars. I think it would fit right in. Number 8, The Legend of Zelda, The Great Fairy Fountain. A melody you can find in multiple Zelda games. Sometimes it's the menu music, and other times it's the Great Fairy Fountain theme. Debuting in A Link to the Past as the theme during the load game menu, and then appearing in almost every Zelda game since then. It's a smooth and calming theme. It makes for good background music when you want the player to feel safe and at home. I kind of prefer it as the Great Fairy Fountain theme. That way, it's sort of a hidden gem that you get to enjoy only at the fountain. Usually the theme features a harp, but one version I really enjoy comes from Breath of the Wild when they made the decision to use a piano instead. An original melody by Koji Kondo with remakes by different composers throughout the years. This Breath of the Wild version was arranged by Kenta Nagata. Number 
Number seven, Star Fox 64, the end credits. In at lucky number seven, we have the end credits, which beat out the opening theme. Both are a good listen, but we went with the end credits. This theme has remnants of the melody from the title screen, and it also goes a step further. It lasts for over five minutes. This is a fitting sound for a send-off style anthem at the end of the game. And it's a satisfying theme as well as nostalgic. I think the Nintendo 64 sound chip allowed for a smoother sound than ever before as far as chiptunes are concerned. And this theme is a good example. It has a well-rounded feel. Number 6, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, the title screen theme. Similar to our previous entry, this is a theme that showcases what the hardware on the Nintendo 64 is capable of. That piano is really well done. It has a very natural feel. Personally, this is one of my favorite soundtracks of the entire franchise. I would put it up against any OST in the series and it would hold its own. The theme is a little bit short, clocking in around 80 seconds. But what an 80 seconds it is. This could possibly be the most relaxing theme that I have ever heard. If you need some music to fall asleep to, give this one a shot. Number 5, The Legend of Zelda, The Hyrule Castle Theme. An entry that appears in multiple games, but made its debut in A Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo. The version from the Four Swords on the Nintendo GameCube is nearly identical to the Super Nintendo, but just in better quality. If you like the SNES version, then check out the Four Swords. My favorite version of this theme is from The Legend of Zelda Sound and Drama, a double CD and the official soundtrack of A Link to the Past. The first CD features eight synthesized arrangement of themes from the game, one of them being Hyrule Castle. Number 4, Super Mario Bros. The Overworld. In at unlucky number 4 comes one of the most iconic themes to ever appear in a video game. People who don't even play games recognize this one. This may not be his best composition, but it's probably his most well known. And can you imagine 1-1 with any other tune than this?
As much as some of them may fit, it's just not the same. This overworld theme is not only one of the most iconic as we said, but it's also one of the most nostalgic. A Koji Kondo Top 10 would be incomplete without this getting at least a mention. Our bronze position today comes from multiple games in the Zelda franchise. We have Zelda's Theme, also known as Zelda's Lullaby. making its debut in A Link to the Past and not Ocarina of Time like many people believe. It has returned to the franchise many times. A few of my favorite versions are from Wind Waker, and Twilight Princess. As much attention as Koji Kondo gets for his epic Zelda themes and his bouncy, almost circus-like music in some of the Mario games, he sure is a master of chill, laid-back, and calming themes. This is a perfect example. Unlike many of our entries today, our silver spot comes from a single game. From Mario 64, here's Dire Dire Docks. The NES and SNES have produced some great themes throughout the years, but let's be honest, the hardware limitations were a big deal. Now on the N64, Koji Kondo had less restraints than ever before, and it shows in the music. What can we really say about Dire Dire Docks that hasn't already said before? We like chill and relaxing themes, and this is one of the best. One thing Koji Kondo does really well is match his music to the environment in-game. When it's a boss fight, he amps it up, but then he also knows when to turn it down a notch, and this is a great example. Swimming stages usually have slower gameplay, so a slower theme makes sense. And yes, this is one of the best water themes of all. Just check out our top 10 water themes. And of course, we have some honorable mentions. Our gold medal position today, in my opinion, is his most epic theme, the Legend of Zelda main theme, also known as the Overworld. Originating in the first Zelda game and now has been featured in a total of 19 Zelda games. The original Zelda theme was based on Ravel's Bolero. Koji Kondo then found out that that musical piece was still under copyright, 
so he was forced to write a new theme. And that is what we have here. This theme is so popular these days that it has made its way outside of the series. You can hear it in Soul Calibur 2, Tetris DS, Mario Kart 8, as well as many more. In my opinion, this is Koji Kondo's best piece. It's an epic piece that is also one of the most iconic in gaming. This top 10 may have been a little bit predictable with mostly Mario and Zelda games, but when you look at the man's resume, it's about 80% Mario and Zelda. We do like to have variation and mix it up, and we could have made rules to limit which games qualified. But the end game is not about variation of music, it's about the best music. And a lot of his best music comes from those two franchises. Our next top 10 will be our top 10 shmup themes also known as shoot 'em ups Think about Gradius, Life Force, or anything similar. Last but not least, a shout out to Gold Level patrons Bear Sona, Quantum X, and Chris Hayes. I am ICC, thanks for watching, peace.